Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Whenever everyone is having a wonderful Hanukkah, I can say myself it's been an especially uh, enjoyable uh, and happy Hanukkah. I hope others have had uh, a similar experience this year. In our pre-Shabbos videos of our Torahs, we have been uh, focusing on davening the whole year, and we've been going through uh, the order of Shabbos davening. We're getting close to Shema, but this week we'll take a break uh, and focus on something in honor of Hanukkah, discuss Al Hanisim. Al Hanisim is uh, well, the prayer that we insert both in Shemun Esri and Benching on Hanukkah and on Purim, but there is a difference between the Al Hanisim of Hanukkah and Purim. They follow a very similar organization and structure at first. First, they set the stage in Hanukkah, Bimei Matasyo, Ben Yochan, and Kohen Gadol. It was in the days of Matasyo. Or in Purim, Bimei, Mordechai, Vester, Bishushan, Abir, in the days of Mordechai, Nestor, and Shushan. And then the threat is described. Kisha Amda, Malchus, Yavan, Harisha, Alam, Chabes, Yisroel. When the evil Greek empire stood, Lashkicham, Tarasach, Ulavir, Mechukem, Risonecha, to remove us and to cause us to abandon uh, the Torah and its mitzvot, or similarly in Purim, Kisha Amad Aleim Haman Harasha Bikish Lashmi Larugalabid, and the evil, the wicked Haman stood to destroy the Jewish people. And then after the threat, the salvation is described. Vata Baracha Mecharbim, and you and your mighty, in your incredible mercy, Hashem. Amad Aleim Beisar Sam stood by us in our time of need. Masarta Giborim Biad Chalashim delivered the mighty into the hands of the weak, the many into the hands of the few, etc. And on Purim, we say, Vata Baracha Mecharbim, the same exact phrase, and you and your mighty mercy, Hashem, your incredible mercy. Hey, Farta so you undid, you canceled the plan of Haman, Vitaluo Sovas Benaval Eitz, and ultimately had him hanged with his sons uh, on a tree on the gallows. Exactly the same parallel structure. But then Hanukkah, as opposed to Purim, Hanukkah has an additional section, Va'achar Kain, and after this, after the salvation of Hashem, your children enter the inner sanctum of your house. Very evocative language. Not we, not they, not the children of Israel, the Jewish people, not the Hashemunayim or the Kohanim, but your children, Hashem. We are Hashem's children. And after the defeat of the Greek army, the Syrian Greeks, we entered the inner sanctum of your house, Hashem, the Beis Migdash. Your children returned home. They cleared out the sanctuary that had been ransacked. They purified the temple that had been made impure with idolatrous objects. And they lit candles in your courtyards. That's not referring to the miracle of the menorah that burned for eight days, but rather the Jewish people, when they as quickly as possible were trying to clear out and rededicate and make beautiful the base of Migdash that had been ransacked with its precious items and vessels stolen. They couldn't immediately replace every golden and silver vessel and decoration, but they lit candelabras to make the base of Migdash light and bright and beautiful. After Hashem's salvation, then we did our part. We cleared out the base of Migdash, we purified it, we made it beautiful. And this is part of Alanisim. Alanisim is a declaration of thanksgiving. We thank Hashem, not just that He saved us uh, from our enemy, but that afterwards we were able to and we wanted to rededicate the base of Mikdash, to clean it and purify it, sanctify it, and make it beautiful. It's a miracle. It's a miracle that even after the war, that we wanted to do that. There were Jewish people that did not assimilate, that we were still connected to Hashem, that that we wanted uh, to build for Hashem a home. And we thank Hashem for this because it's a miracle that we can do this. What an incredible idea. We cleared out your sanctuary as if to say that God did not have a place to reside, but they, the Jews at that time, and we, Forever, this is part of what it means to be an Eved Hashem. We can make the space for Hashem to descend, for Hashem to dwell. We can we can make a place pure and holy. We can make a place beautiful so that there's a space for Hashem in this world. That's what the Jews did immediately after the defeat the Greeks. It wasn't just about a military victory, but it's that we can, we can make a home for Hashem to feel His presence in this world. That is incredible that they did that at that time, we say thank you, that we have the ability to do that, we say thank you. 
Uh, I'm sure others have the same feeling when you see your menorah uh, burning in your home, enlightening the home. You see it, it's, it's, it's just holy. It's beautiful. And there's a sense that Hashem, Hashem's presence uh, is in the home. And it's something to enjoy. It's something to appreciate, something to look at. It's something to, to thank Hashem for. But it also should make us think that, wow, we can do this. We can, apparently there's, we have a way. Hashem has given us this capability to create a space so that he'll be present amongst us. We feel it in the light of the menorah. That is meant to teach us a lesson going forward, that we can be ufino sechalecha, we can clear out room, we can make a space, vitiros mikdashecha, we can make an area in our hearts, in our homes, in our lives, in our communities, we can make a place pure, vidliku neros bechatsros kachecha, we can create that light, we can make uh, the place beautiful, so that Hashem will be with us, Hashem will be in our lives, that is the greatest miracle, there's nothing more miraculous than that, and Hashem has taught us uh, how to do that. That is what we, uh, one of the incredible things we say thank you for uh, and included in the last paragraph of the Al Hanisim. Something to think about as we are davening. We only have a few days left of Hanukkah. Uh, we should appreciate them, enjoy them, celebrate. Also use them as days to create the light of the Torah and Hashem uh, in our lives. Uh, and with that, I wish everyone a Hanukkah Sameach, a Chodesh Tov, Shabbat Shalom and good Shabbos.